So I received a call from a project manager who had just read my book, Leadership Caffeine for Project Managers, and she had some questions. She was concerned that her team of project managers were really struggling to develop teams that worked, they were struggling with some of the interpersonal skills, navigating conflict, and all of those kind of squishy, uncomfortable topics that we often don't like to deal with but have to in the world of leading project teams. She asked whether or not I thought the issue was one of project leadership. And, you know, without being there and to be prescriptive, my first reaction was, of course, absolutely. It's always about the project leadership side of the equation when it comes to developing high performance teams. So for anyone that's struggling a little bit or having some challenges in bringing together people for these temporary and unique initiatives and driving them to high performance, here are a couple of ideas. First, start the dialogue on what project leadership is in your organization. It doesn't cost any money or maybe just a little bit money to go out and you know, so, some book content, uh, a little book discussion club on what it means to lead projects, web-based research. By the way, my book would be ideal for that very uh, conversation. Silent plug. Second, you are at some point in time going to need to invest. We bring along these project managers, brilliant technical professionals, well-schooled in the you know, the art and science of the various project management methodologies out there, but we don't spend any time training them on the soft skills of leading, on delivering feedback, on navigating conflict, on building teams that work. You are going to have to invest, so begin to work with your executives, with your sponsors, to bring in team coaching, to provide training opportunities, invest in leadership skills for your project managers, and you will receive dividends many times over in the form of high performance teams. And the third, I actually have to credit to Angela. Angela was a project manager I worked with a long time ago and I now describe her technique as Angela's question. Make sure that at the beginning of every initiative your project managers ask Angela's question and it is as follows. At the end of this project, when we're successful, what will you say that I did? At the end of this project, when we're successful, what will you say that I did? So have the project manager ask the team, solicit input. The project manager should take that input back and, and go back and craft kind of a mini job description. Some call it a, a charter. Angela called it her charter as project leader. And roll that up and present that out to the team. Suddenly, just through the simple question, you've engaged the team, you've given them a stake and a vote in what project leadership will be like for their team, and you've established this element of accountability for the project manager in the group. So, three ideas to help promote and drive project performance in your organization. If you like these ideas and want to learn more, I would love to help. Drop me a note or give me a call. I wanted it to be more than a collection of posts, so I worked with a team. We down-selected from a thousand articles to about a hundred, whittled that down to 84, organized, edited, annotated, revised, wrote some original content.